back to Mimi's Flute Tips. Today I will be answering a question by Elisa in Missouri. Elisa, thank you for your very interesting question, which is, to what extent is it okay to move your lips while playing the flute? My answer to that is, it is essential to move your lips while playing the flute. In fact, a flexible embouchure is key to so much of what we need to achieve, both technically and musically on the instrument. I often give the analogy of comparing our embouchure as flutists to a vibrating oboe reed or bassoon reed or this idea of a double reed, which our friends who play those instruments have to soak first. The cane has to be soft and flexible. If they don't soak it, it's dry and brittle and they can't really get a good sound at all. And so similarly, we have to have a kind of fluid uh, approach to our embouchure. And this especially affects interval playing, for example, in Mozart. My positioning of my lips and also my jaw will actually move from the low to the high register. We also can move our lips within one note to achieve different tone colors. For example, a B flat that I would use to start Claude Debussy's syrinx and then taper. You'll probably notice some, some changes in my embouchure. Because directing the air in different ways is so important to change dynamics, also to adjust for intonation on our instrument, being able to do that with the lips is very important and also with the jaw. So of course it's very complicated, but I would welcome you to start exploring the idea of having flexible embouchure and practice that in the context of long tone scales and arpeggios and anything that has intervals in it where you can sense how to adjust your embouchure to the different registers. And so forth. So I want to invite you to have fun with your flute playing and I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep the questions coming. Enjoy your flute playing. Bye.